Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be doing the New York Times by the book tag. I will leave the original video in the description down below as well as the people that I will be tagging. But if you're not tagged and you really want to do this tag, please feel free to make your own video. So the first question is, what book is on your nightstand right now? And right now I'm currently reading two books, so there are two books on my nightstand, and that usually never happens with me. I am just not a person who likes to read two books at the same time, but one of them is for my Dutch class, and the other one is the book that I'm reading for fun. The book that I have to read for my Dutch class is Joe Speakboat by Tommy Rieringa, and I'm actually enjoying this much more than I expected it to. It is just a very light read, and uh, I just quickly skim through the pages. I don't really read them like word by word but I read it so that I can understand it and quickly read the book that I read for my pleasure and that book is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. and oh my god I am absolutely loving this until so far and I've only read like 10% of the book. Most of the book is written in a normal standard format just like this but there are also a, quite a lot of parts that have like playlists in it and tickets and maps and emails and all those kinds of things. It is so much fun and I absolutely can Cannot wait to continue on with this. Question number two, what was the last truly great book that you read? And the last truly great book that I read was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. This is also my very first five-star book in 2016, I believe. I have not read any other super great books that I could get five stars in this year, but this one was absolutely amazing. Even though this is probably my least favorite out of the Harry Potter series until so far, it is still so good because I gave it a five out of five stars. So J.K. Rowling, you are such a queen. Question number three, if you could meet any writer, dead or alive, who would it be and what would you want to know? Jenny Han, the author from the To All the Boys I Love Before duology and the Summer I Tune Pretty trilogy. Like she's an autobi author for me and what I would like to know is she would like to bake some cupcakes with me because in the To All the Boys I Love Before duology, Lara Jean, her main character, she bakes so many goodies and I just want to eat them all. So I think that Jenny Han would be a really good baker herself. So I would ask her to bake cupcakes case with me. So yeah. Question four, what books might we be surprised to find on your shelves? So I think that I'd say like books that you guys have not really seen me talking about a lot. So the first book is The Princess Diaries. I got the first three books in this series. I got these when I was like 12 from my aunt and I read the first three books and I absolutely love them, but it has been a very long time since I've read them. But I have my copy like not here on my book shelf, but I have them in my closet because I have like around 20 or 30 more books in my closet that are just not beautiful to display on my shelves or that are just like children's books. Uh, so that one might be a surprise to you. Question number five, how do you organize your personal library? So you guys can see it a little bit right now, but if you have seen my bookshelf tour, which you can click right here if you want, there have been added quite a lot of books since that video on my shelf. I tried to make some sort of like rainbowish bookshelf on the top. I have black, then comes blue, green, a little bit more lighter blue, uh, white, this is not white, but it's like lighter. And then down here, I have my yellows, oranges, and pink red ones. I love my bookshelf. I just think that by color, it just looks so organized and beautiful. I just prefer it. it I think that rainbow bookshelves are the most beautiful bookshelves on the freaking planet. Question six, what book have you always meant to read and haven't gotten around yet? Anything you feel embarrassed never to have read? Huh? So the books that I'm actually quite ashamed of that I still haven't read them because this series is freaking huge It's so popular and I still haven't gotten around to it yet But this month I will really 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 try to start it if I'm in the mood and I think that I will be in the mood And that is the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare I've mentioned this book in the last five or ten of my videos, but I own this beautiful copy I also own the second book and I've heard amazing things about this Shadow Hunter World series So I absolutely cannot wait to finally start it because I actually feel kind of ashamed that I still haven't read this book Plus another book that I'm actually kind of ashamed about that I still haven't read is Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. I've read uh, Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight and those two were amazing. I also tried to read this one last summer but I just didn't understand it. Like I read the first 70 pages and I was like what is going on? It is so strange. What the heck is going on? So I feel like I need to uh, read the Assassin's Blade first, maybe reread the last 50 pages of Crown of Midnight because I was like so confused when I started this book. Um, but I've heard more people say that this is sort of like 
a filler book in the series, even though they say that this book is amazing still. Question number seven, disappointing, overrated, just not good. What book did you feel you were supposed to like but didn't? Do you remember the last book you put down without finishing? So uh, this book that I want to mention is the book that I actually just really disappointed me and everyone was talking about it like one and a half years ago. People still talk about it, but one and a half years ago, the hype was cray cray. And that book is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I didn't love this book. I liked this book, kind of, sort of. I thought that it was kind of boring. I've read two of his other books. I just don't like his writing style. I'm not a John Green fan. I'm so sorry guys for the ones who love it. Uh, I just didn't love the story. I thought that it was predictable because you know the thing that happened I saw it coming. It is sad but I wasn't like feeling really sad. You know what I mean? Uh, but I just didn't really like it so I kind of I don't feel ashamed about it but I'm just like one of those people who doesn't like John Green. So yeah. Question eight, what kinds of stories are you drawn to and you stay clear of? So I absolutely, absolutely love summer books, contemporaries, fluffy things, romance things, but I also love action and fantasy. So those are the stories that I'm mostly drawn to. Those three sorts of books are my jam, but the stories that I stay clear of are mostly paranormal romances or just paranormal books in general. I'm not a big fan of that. That is not really my thing. I also don't really like literature, so I stay clear of that as much as possible, even though I do have to read literature books for school and I do own children's classics, but... Literature is not really my thing. Question nine, if you could require the president to read one book, what would it be? And this question is damn hard and I can't answer that because I only own YA on my shelves and I don't think that YA is something that, you know, the president should really read. So question number 10, what do you plan to read next? And I already said that and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So yeah, that book. So those were all the questions in this tag. Thank you so much to Meryl from A Blackbird's Books for tagging me. I really enjoyed doing this tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You guys can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Goodreads. Links to my social media pages are in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!